Alrighty. <laughs> okay, so I don't know how well you all can see me because I don't really have a dedicated space to do these repottings. That's what I'm doing today is a repot. Um, so I made a little makeshift repotting in one of my favorite corners. Today what I am doing, as you can see this guy is, he's not very happy. I mean he wasn't super happy when I got him but I've had him a while. Uh, but he has been growing some baby leaves but as soon as it gets to you know, going any further down past, growing past the pot. Um, they seem to either die or they're falling off a lot. I think maybe it has a lot to do with the soil he's in. Um, I don't, I, I haven't, I never repotted him. I got this at Home Depot, so I don't think this is the best soil for him. And I haven't really figured out, you know, the watering. I mean, it stays wet. I'm surprised he's still alive at this point. I've completely neglected him. But yeah, so I'm wanting to repot. I'm wanting to take him out. Um, I might do some of these in water. I don't know how much roots we're gonna have. So depending on how much roots, I might put him into something smaller because it seems kind of big for him. But, um, but yeah, and this is a Peperoma. What? I, yeah, my phone's up there. I can't remember the type of peperoma this is, but it is a type of peperoma. So um, look, see, a leaf just fell off. And it is one that does hang. So I'm hoping once we get it in a better pot, it will look better. I am thinking possibly, well, I have this too. This is a Brazil uh, philodendron. And it's pretty full. I got this maybe two weeks ago. Um, so it's doing well. It's pushing out new leaves and new growth. And I'm thinking, oh, I mean, depending on how many roots are in here too. Um, I might put this guy in here or I might put this guy in a different pot and stake him up. I've never done that before. So it'll be my first time. I watched some videos, so it doesn't seem too complicated. You really just have to be gentle with, especially the aerial roots and everything, but this hasn't grown too much, uh, so I don't think I'll have that much of an issue, but we'll see. So first, I think I'm gonna start with this guy and just see what we're working with. This is so complicated. Uh, can I take this off? There we go. So I don't really know the best way to approach this, so I'm just gonna go for it. Um, probably wanna be able to see what I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna kinda start to gently get some of the soil out and maybe I can wiggle some of the roots out, but yeah, this just seems like a lot of space for this guy. I feel so sad when little leaves fall off. Okay. Probably gonna make a huge mess, but that's okay. That's what a vacuum is for. I hope you guys can see me. Um, But I'm kind of just like working on the areas where I don't really see any <clears throat> any part of the plant. Um, and then I'm hoping I can wiggle it out from there. I can kind of start, I'm feeling some roots. All right, I think, I think I might just try to, Maybe like grasp it and just turn it upside down at this point. There we go. Okay. I don't really like this soil. It seems like it's just potting soil. I don't even know if they put extra perlite. 
I've heard people say not to do this, which I'm gonna kind of mess with the roots um, and try to get as much of this soil off. But I mean, it's a pepperoni. Pepperomas are somewhat easy, so I don't think it, the soil is gonna be too much of an impact, but I, I wanna get as much of this type of soil off so it doesn't stick onto it and start any like root rot or anything, which if it hasn't, the roots haven't rotted by now, I doubt they will after what this has been through, but I still wanna give this guy the best chance. Oh, oh, I snapped him. I need mean, like, this is way too small. Okay, I'm switching to this. Maybe this will help. Okay, I think that's, I'm happy with this. I mean, it didn't seem like it was really very hard to get um, as much soil as I have off. So this is all that there is. I think that was way too big of a pot. Um, oh, I don't think he was happy in there. So I do think this pot would be good. I think he'd be happy in there. Now I'm going to start with this guy. I have no idea what to expect, but I think he's pretty happy here. I don't know, there's a part of me that wants to just leave him in here because he's happy, but there's another part of me that wants to stake him because I want his leaves. I, I feel like I've heard that if you stake philodendrons that their leaves will grow bigger if they're growing vertically, and I think that would be beautiful, so I think I'm going to stake him. There we go. Ah, oh, there we go. Here he is, little cutie. Well, look at him closer. I think this is so beautiful. And I got it for 20 bucks at a nursery. So, if you can see, it says 20 bucks. I felt like that was a good price. I mean, I don't know if it was or wasn't. It's pretty. So. It was worth it to me. Okay, this guy I'm not as scared of. I'm gonna like, I'm squishing just a little bit to loosen him. He doesn't seem too packed in there. Um, turning him upside down and supporting him. Oh, look at those roots. I am actually, I mean, it's not root bound. Oh, let me get the bigger one. Why did I do this one again? which I've actually heard plants really actually like to be root bound. Um, uh, like I'm conflicted. I don't want to mess with it. I want to kind of just like, I've heard that just take it as it is, put it in the pot that it's going to go into and don't mess with the roots, but I don't want the soil. So I'm going to mess with the roots and if I'm staking it, I'm probably going to want to rearrange and not have it be in like one clump. So this is a learning experience. So this could be the absolute wrong thing to do. And if it is, I'll learn.
I do feel like this was staying too wet. So I'm thinking I'm making the right choice. I just like going underneath and like I'm trying to describe what I'm doing. I'm like taking my fingers and I'm going like this, like almost like I'm tickling. I don't know if tickling's the wrong word, but or the right word, but yeah. Maybe I'll set some of these little nodes aside too. I'm definitely breaking some roots. I can hear it, but I mean, I don't think I can help it. That's what I'm trying to do. And I think I'll put this guy in like a, in a terracotta. I think I'll put him in a terracotta so I don't feel like think philodendron like to like stay wet. So I think a terracotta. I think he'll be happy with that. I think that's that's good enough. Um, there's still some soil on there. I'm not I'm not gonna like rinse it or anything. Anything too drastic. Um, and I'm gonna find a terracotta pot for him. This will be your pot. So I'm gonna mix some soil now. I might use a little bit less perlite and uh, orchard bark, but because I think this guy doesn't like to stay at, I, I felt like I was just draining a little too fast. I'm not that much of an overwaterer, so. Oh, I'm using all of my containers. I need another container. One moment. Oi. Here we go. I'm gonna mix up some soil. So it's like about two cups worth of cocoa coir I'm putting in here. I'm gonna put in some orchid bark. Orchid bark. There we go. This is like, what is that? One and a half. It's like one and a half cups. So not that really. It's obviously full, but no. So the next thing is going to be I did coquar. I did bark. Um. Perlite. Um, I think I'm gonna do a cup and a fourth. Oh, a cup and a fourth of perlite. I'll probably mix this all up, kind of get gauge how it looks. <clears throat> and let's go from there. And next on the list is activated charcoal. I don't know what they do to activate it, but. Um, and I'm just like, I do about like two scoops of like that, that amount. You know. Can see. Maybe, maybe I'll do three. Maybe I'll do a little bit more. I don't know. Um, and then the last thing are worm castings. And this is 
um, like in or this is an organic fertilizer and from what I've read is you can't over fertilize it won't like it won't burn the leaves or anything along the that sort so that's why I like it because I feel like I'm not really good with liquid fertilizer I get too heavy-handed with it um, and I feel like it always ends up doing my plant more harm than good so I heard about this and I thought it was perfect for me um, so I'm gonna put about like that much in okay and now I'm gonna mix her up this is how it came out um, I might do a little bit more perlite I don't know it went up to the 50 milliliter mark on my liquid measuring cup yeah I think I'm happy with this like that um I don't know if you all can tell the difference but I feel like I can so this is my first time trying to stake anything, I guess. I'm just gonna grab a scoop, throw her in here. The roots weren't too crazy long, so I'm gonna mess up a little more than usual. Oi! Okay, this is the moss full I got. I just bought it on Amazon. I know you can make them, but I I just wanted something easy. Hopefully this is easy. But this is the brand I got. Hopefully it's not blurry. Um, yeah. Let's see it. It says it trains plants to grow upwards. Hmm. Oh, and it's extendable. So that was kind of what sold me on it. I don't know, I, maybe because I've never done it before, I have a little bit of a weird anxiety towards a moss pole and I'm scared I'm gonna put it in and then it's gonna be stuck like that and if I, it's growing big and this moss pole's no longer the right size, it's gonna be an issue, but I don't know. That's why I thought extendable would be good, but I don't know how, to ex how it extends. Maybe it's extendable, oh! It's not like, I was imagining like you pull it and it extends, but I'm imagining you, ah, uh, you can put it on top of each other. Oh, it came with two. I think I'm gonna put the pothos in and then stick this in the middle. I'm gonna put the pothos, I think, around, and then I'll stick the pole in, um, and at that point, Put the vines up and wrap it around. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but that's the way I'm gonna do it. All right, little babies.
you getting me? Maybe I'm being too gentle. Get in there, guys. I'm gonna make a little bit, I'm gonna make more soil. Um, I think I might, I don't know, should I put the hole in now? I'm gonna put this guy in now, but I'm gonna kind of dig him a little, a little hole. Get in there. Okay. I think I'm doing okay so far. Ooh, I might need Maybe not. <laughs> no, I don't think I will. But I mean, pothos grow so fast, so. Um, I don't think it'll be that long before I need to put the other one on. down a bit. Um, make sure if there's any little guys that they're not hiding in the soil. Oh, it's so cute. It's such a pretty plant. I'm just pushing the soil down a bit to really make sure the roots are secure and one of them doesn't just slide out or like fall out. But I think that's pretty good. Oh my gosh, this is so cute already. And of course, um, I don't have my little tight thingies. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm using these garden ties. It comes in this little, this roll and you just, um, like Velcro and you can just, you cut off the amount you need. So I don't know how I'm gonna do yeah. So I'm gonna cut off, a, just gonna like guess, maybe like this long would be good. Okay, and I'm just gonna do stuff.
water these. to do I think it's better it would be best to do one around the whole thing so I'm trying to I'm trying to find the ones that are long enough to get on here um, I think I'm just I'm gonna do multiple because this is hard and then with this, you want the soft, or at least, I don't know if you want, if it has to be that way, but I put the soft side towards the leaf so the Velcro-y side doesn't irritate the baby. There we go. It might kind of look cool if like some of them are draping over the pot and some are climbing up the pole. But I feel, I don't know how I feel. Let me see. There's definitely a, one side that looks better than the other side, but that's okay. I think I might do another of these guys. For the guys that are a little bit higher up. Um, oh my god. Okay, it's just barely. Oh baby, look at this. Oh no. Um, I feel like it would be nice. Maybe he'll be one of the danglers. This better look, you know, look good for all of this effort, man. You better better not die on me. All right. I think it looks so cute. Let me take it out of here. It looks so cute. I don't know if you guys can see it, but here she is. This is a girl now. Um, okay. Oh, that was hard. I'm glad I got that one out of the way. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. I'm gonna mix up some more soil for the peperomia, but I think I'm gonna make it, I think I'm gonna put a little bit more soil and a little bit less barb. I'm not using a measuring cup anymore. I'm just going for it. I'm just gonna go for it until it looks right. There you go, it's more perlite in cocoa coir than anything else. Okay, little guy. I'm sorry. Ooh, shoot. aren't very long I don't know I this is so delicate I was I think I'm just gonna kind of throw it in there and then try to arrange it a little bit okay you got it little guy this is like this guy stresses me out because I feel like every time I touch him, a leaf falls off. And
something happened. I might try to put him, I'll put him in water because I don't see any roots on him, so. I don't know what happened there. I broke it. Oh, there's another one like it. Any of those guys, I'm just throwing them in water. Oh, they look so cute. Like it's just all tangled. Come on, little baby. I don't know. I might. I mean, some of these. I'm gonna. I'm gonna trim this guy up. I'm gonna organize him and trim him up because, like this, where a lot of the leaves are missing, I think I'm just gonna snip him, and then do then propagate because it's not aesthetically pleasing and I don't think those leaves are gonna grow back I mean maybe they would I don't know but I don't think they are mm, might be good there we'll have you go here I just ripped that leaf. I'm sorry, little guy. Oh, you're a big guy. Okay, I think this is like the best I'm gonna get. I like spray now. I have a feeling this guy is going to be so angry at me before he gets better. Because I really tore him into pieces. burying some of the smaller leaves because I mean this is it's just too hard to get every single leaf to get it exactly perfect so that's happening wasn't so bad. After doing that, what is it called? Staking? After staking that pole, this is not so bad. I'm trying to get these guys really like really in there because I'm wanting them to get long 
and I want them to have really good root. Be, be, oh God, there goes another leaf. Ah, the baby leaves. Not the babies. Okay, that's good. That's what it looks like at top. The top isn't that pretty. I'm hoping this falls down and actually I might, this guy is, I feel like he should be like, let's wait. Oh my God, don't, don't hate me everyone. I don't know, that's, that's good. I think that's better so he's not sticking straight up. But yeah, I'm hoping that it'll eventually fall better down and over it a little bit better I don't know if that's gonna happen wish me luck we'll see how this goes I'm gonna I am going to cut a little bit of this some of this off I don't know should I Ooh, I think I will actually I think I'm gonna leave him alone for maybe a week or two let him get settled and then after that, I think I'll do some snipping. I don't want to, I mean, he is shook, I'm sure at this point, but I don't want to do more to traumatize him. So I think I'll wait. I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until a week or two for him to settle into his new home. There was a hanging thing. Here it is. These guys. Are gonna go in water. I have rooting hormone. I don't think these are gonna need rooting hormone, but since I have it, I'll probably dip it in that or like paint paint it on. They're so cute. Look at this baby baby leaves. I was picked up by the stake. Uh, don't want to do that. I think this guy I'm happy with. This guy doesn't look very good, but I think he's gonna do a lot better. 